There are so many people saying, oh, this is disgusting, this is exploitation, it's terrible. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've been asked to respond to the news of a cigarette smoking chimpanzee. Is there anything like, humans won't do? Visitors to a newly reopened zoo in North Korea have been flocking to a new attraction, a cigarette smoking chimpanzee. Azalea is a 19 year old female chimpanzee who smokes a pack of cigarettes a day. The chimpanzee can use a lighter to light her own cigarettes or spark up from a lit cigarette. The zoo has insisted, however, that she does not inhale. Well, good on her. <laughs> Visitors roared with laughter as the chimpanzee sat puffing away. Her trainer seemed to be encouraging the smoking and prompted her to touch her nose, bow thank you and do a simple dance. And of course the zoo is pulling in thousands of visitors a day and the zoo also arranges other performances featuring other animals. Including a monkey that slam dunks basketballs and doves that fly around and land on a woman skating on an indoor stage. So clearly this zoo has turned into a circus and these animals are just trained to perform tricks and uh, they've trained the chimpanzee to smoke a cigarette. This is obviously not a normal natural behavior for an animal. No, it's clearly revolting and disgusting, yeah. but this is not a one-off. No. You can see examples all over the world of humans abusing and using animals for entertainment or pleasure. Mm. For example, there's a three-year-old female polar bear called Pizza uh, is kept in a shopping mall in China. Um, so people can take selfies with her and this, you know, this animal's clearly going out of her mind. Yeah, it's zoocosis. Yeah. And we could keep going with countless examples. And this is why veganism is not just a diet. It's about not supporting the use and exploitation of animals for any purpose. Yeah, and that includes entertainment in zoos, in circuses, rodeos, uh, horseback riding, trail rides, those kind of things. This is all included in what veganism is because it's the exploitation of animals. So how do we stop this? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Yeah. Like any industry, the animal exploitation industry is based on supply and demand. Yeah. So if we stop demanding it, the industry will stop supplying it. Yeah. It's that simple. That's right, because they're only training up these animals because people go along and think, oh, it's so cute, it's so funny, oh, the chimp's smoking a cigarette or the polar bears in, an, uh, in a shopping mall or whatever it is. Yeah. And obviously the majority of people find this entertaining because they're providing, as you said, the, the demand for the entertainment and industry is training these animals to do that. Exactly, and we can relate to this completely. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we used to partake in this kind of animal exploitation and cruelty ourselves yeah. before we went vegan, even yeah. as vegetarians. You know, we were into yeah. elephant riding, horseback riding, going to aquariums and mm. zoos. In fact, we were members of our local zoo. That's right, I remember we were going to a dolphin show uh, in South Africa. We were traveling at the time and uh, we were priding ourselves on being vegetarian, traveling vegetarians, and having conversations with people about animal rights, and yet there we were going to a dolphin show. That's right, so because we hadn't yet made, made the, the full connection, connection and that's yeah. what veganism is. Yeah. So it's interesting to now step back as vegans and see the, the full picture mm. and see the hypocrisy, because there are so many people saying, oh, this is disgusting, this is exploitation, it's terrible, but what are you eating? Because yeah. the majority of exploitation for animals... Is for meat, dairy and eggs. Yeah. So globally, consumer demand for meat, dairy and eggs means that 2,000 innocent animals have their throats slit every single second. So if you're living in the US or Australia or Europe or anywhere around the world and you're reading these really disturbing articles online of the, the chimp in North Korea and the polar bear in China and you're thinking, well, what can I do? What you can do is not participate in the biggest and most horrific exploitation and abuse of animals, which is what you are eating. So a 100% plant-based diet, a vegan diet, is what you need to be focusing your attention on. And to be honest, these cases really don't mm. surprise us no. at all. How many times we've heard people say, oh yeah, I've seen this and I've seen that mm. about the cruelty and the meat, dairy and egg industries, but you know, oh hell, I just can't give up the taste of cheese. Yeah. You know, if we can continue to support with our dollar industries that slit the throat of innocent baby animals, and yes, most food animals are killed as babies, then it's no surprise at all that we can do this to chimpanzees and polar bears. Exactly. We, we live in a culture that puts our personal pleasure, be it taste or entertainment or fashion or whatever it is, above what we know in our hearts to be ethically right or wrong. 
So, you know, a smoking chimp uh, versus the food animals, as you say, which are babies, we are unfortunately capable of doing just about anything. So to wrap this up, guys, if you're outraged by the smoking chimpanzee or the polar bear in the shopping mall, as you rightly should be, that's right. don't be a hypocrite and take animals off your plate. And in doing so, you will save the most number of animals' lives possible. That's right. And then from that point, you can extend that circle of compassion to all animals, uh, including for your entertainment. So you make those changes. So we have linked a heap of resources down below in the description under this video. Please check them out and of course share this video widely to get the message out there. Thanks for watching guys. Leave your comments down below, like, share and subscribe. And remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the least we can do. See you next video. Bye guys. Bye. What's going to be hard is facing the next generation and hearing them say, you knew this was happening. You brought me into this mess and yet you didn't change fast enough to stop it? What the hell were you thinking?